Gaudiya Vaishnavism also known as Gaudiya Vaisnava tradition, Bengali Vaishnavism, or Chaitanya Vaishnavism is a Vaishnava religious movement inspired by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu (1486–1534) in India. Gaudiya refers to the Gauda region, present-day Bengal, Bangladesh, with Vaishnavism meaning the worship of Vishnu or Krishna. Its theological basis is primarily that of the Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavata Purana as interpreted by early disciples of Chaitanya such as Sanatana Govaman, Rupa Govaman, Jiva Govaman, Gopala Bhatta Govaman, and others. The focus of Gaudiya Vaishnavism is the devotional worship bhakti of Radha and Krishna, and their many divine incarnations as the supreme forms of God, Svayam Bhagavan. Most popularly, this worship takes the form of singing Radha and Krishna's holy names, such as Hare. Krishna and Rama, most commonly in the form of the Hare Krishna mantra, also known as Kirtan. The movement is sometimes referred to as the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya, referring to its traditional origins in the succession of spiritual masters gurus believed to originate from Brahma. It classifies itself as a monotheistic tradition, seeing the many forms of Vishnu or Krishna as expansions or incarnations of the one supreme god, Adipurusha. Topic. Philosophical concepts Topic. Living beings According to Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, consciousness is not a product of matter, but is instead a symptom of the soul. All living beings jivas, are distinct from their current body, the nature of the soul being eternal, immutable, and indestructible without any particular beginning or end. Souls which are captivated by the illusory nature of the world maya are repeatedly reborn among the various 8,400,000 in number species of life on this planet and on other worlds in accordance to the laws of karma and individual desire. This is consistent with the concept of samsara found throughout Hindu belief. Release from the process of samsara known as moksha is believed to be achievable through a variety of spiritual practices. However, within Gaudiya Vaishnavism it is bhakti in its purest state or pure love of God, which is given as the ultimate aim, rather than liberation from the cycle of rebirth. Topic. Supreme Person God. One of the defining aspects of Gaudiya Vaishnavism is that Krishna is worshipped specifically as the source of all avataric incarnations of God. This is based on quotations from the Bhagavata Purana, such as, Kursnastu Bhagavan Svayam, literally, Krishna is God Himself. Topic. Inconceivable oneness and difference A particularly distinct part of the Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy espoused by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the concept of Achintya Beta Abeda, which translates to inconceivable oneness and difference in the context of the soul's relationship with krishna and also krishna's relationship with his other energies ie the material world in quality the soul jiva is described as being identical to god but in terms of quantity individual jivas are said to be infinitesimal in comparison to the unlimited supreme being the exact nature of this relationship being simultaneously one and different with Krishna is inconceivable to the human mind, but can be experienced through the process of bhakti yoga. This philosophy serves as a meeting of two opposing schools of Hindu philosophy, pure monism God and, the soul as one entity and pure dualism God and the soul as absolutely separate. This philosophy largely recapitulates the concepts of qualified nondualism practiced by the older Vedantic school Vishishtadvaita, but emphasizes the figure of Krishna over Narayana and holy sites in and around Bengal over sites in Tamil Nadu. In practice Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy has much more in common with the dualistic schools especially closely following theological traditions established by Madhvacharya's Dvaita Vedanta. Devotional activities Topic. Bhakti Yoga The practical process of devotional life is described as bhakti or bhakti yoga. The two main elements of the bhakti yoga process are Vedi Bhakti, which is devotional service through practice of rules and regulations sadhana, and Raganuga Bhakti, which is taken as a higher stage of more spontaneous devotional service based on a selfless desire to please one's chosen Ishta Deva of Krishna or his associated expansions and avatars. 
Practicing Vedi Bhakti with a view to cultivate prema creates eligibility for Raganuga Sadhana. Both Vedi and Raganuga Bhakti are based on the chanting or singing of Krishna's names. Attainment of the Raganuga stage means that rules of lifestyle are no longer important and that emotions or any material activities for Krishna should not be repressed. Vedi Bhakti's purpose is to elevate the devotee to Raganuga, something which generally takes a long time. Within his Siksastaka prayers, Chaitanya compares the process of bhakti yoga to that of cleansing a dirty place of dust, wherein our consciousness is the object in need of purification. This purification takes place largely through the chanting and singing of Radha and Krishna's names. Specifically the Hare Krishna mantra is chanted and sung by practitioners on a daily basis, sometimes for many hours each day. Famously within the tradition, one of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's close associates, Haridasa Thakur, is reported to have chanted 300,000 holy names of God each day. <inaudible> <inaudible> Diet and lifestyle Gaudiya Vaishnavas follow a lacto-vegetarian diet, abstaining from all types of animal flesh, including fish and eggs. Onions and garlic are also avoided as they are believed to promote a more tamasic form of consciousness in the eater when taken in large quantities. Gaudiya Vaishnavas also avoid the intake of caffeine, as they believe it is addictive and an intoxicant. Many Gaudiya Vaishnavas will live for at least some time in their life as monks <laughs> History Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also transliterated Kaitanya, IAST Kaitanya Mahaprabhu, the 18th of February 1486 to the 14th of June 1534 was a Bengali spiritual teacher who founded Gaudiya Vaishnavism. He is believed by his devotees to be Krishna himself who appeared in the form of his own devotee in order to teach the people of this world the process of bhakti and how to attain the perfection of life. He is considered as the most merciful manifestation of Krishna. Chaitanya was the proponent for the Vaishnava school of bhakti yoga meaning loving devotion to God, based on Bhagavata Purana and Bhagavad Gita. Of various incarnations of Vishnu, he is revered as Krishna, popularized the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra and composed the Siksastakam eight devotional prayers in Sanskrit. His followers, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, revere him as a Krishna with the mood and complexion of his source of inspiration Radha. Early growth. Over the three centuries following the disappearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition evolved into the form in which we largely find it today in contemporary India. In the early years of the tradition, the followers of Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya and other companions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu educated and initiated people, each in their own locales across Bengal. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested a select few among his followers, who later came to be known as the Six Gosvamis of Vrindavan, to systematically present his theology of bhakti in their writings. This theology emphasized the devotee's relationship to the divine couple, Radha and Krishna, and looked to Caitanya as the embodiment of both Radha and Krishna. The six were Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Gopala Bhatta Goswami, Raghunatha Bhatta Goswami, Raghunatha Dasa Goswami, and Jiva Goswami. In the second generation of the tradition, Naradama, Srinivasa and Shamananda, three students of Jiva Goswami, the youngest among the six Goswamis, were instrumental in spreading the theology across Bengal and Orissa. The festival of Ketori approximately 1574, presided over by Janava Thakurani, the wife of Nityananda Rama, was the first time the leaders of the various branches of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's followers assembled together. Through such festivals, members of the loosely organized tradition became acquainted with other branches along with their respective theological and practical nuances. That notwithstanding, the tradition has maintained its plural nature, having no central authority to preside over its matters. The festival of Ketori allowed for the systemization of Gaudiya Vaishnava theology as a distinct branch of Vaishnava theology. 17th-18th century. Gaudiya Matha historians assert that in the 17th–18th century, there was a period of general decline in the movement's strength and popularity characterized by decreased preaching and appearance of persons following and promoting degraded teachings and practices. 
These groups are called apasampradayas. In the 17th century, Vishvanath Chakravarti Thakur held great merit in clarifying core doctrinal issues over the practice of Raganuga Bhakti through works such as Raga Vartma Chandrika. His student Baladeva Vidyabhushan wrote a famous commentary on the Vedanta Sutra called Govinda Bhashya. The 18th century saw a number of luminaries headed by Siddha Jayakrishna Das Babaji of Kamyavan and Siddha Krishnadas Babaji of Gavardhan. The latter, a widely renowned teacher of the mode of internal worship practiced in the tradition, is largely responsible for the current form of devotional practice embraced by some of the traditions based in Vrindavan. From the very beginning of Chaitanya's Bhakti movement in Bengal, Haridasa Thakur and others Muslim by birth were the participants. This openness received a boost from Bhaktivinoda Thakur's broad-minded vision in the late 19th century and was institutionalized by Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati Thakur in his Gaudiya Matha in the 20th century. 20th century renaissance This period was followed by a renaissance which began at the start of the 20th century. This change is believed to have happened largely due to the efforts of a particularly adept preacher known as Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who also held the position of a deputy magistrate with the British government. Bhaktivinoda Thakur's son grew up to be both an eminent scholar and highly influential Vaishnava preacher, known in his later life as Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati Thakur. In total, Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati Thakur founded in 1918 Gaudiya Math and later 64 Gaudiya Matha monasteries in India, Burma and Europe. The first European preaching centre was established in London in 1933 London Gloucester House, Cornwall Garden, W7 South Kensington under the name Gaudiya Mission Society of London, soon after the Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati's death the 1st of January 1937, a dispute began and the original Gaudiya Math Mission divided into two administrative bodies which continued preaching on their own, up to the present day. In a settlement they divided the 64 Gaudiya Math centres into two groups. Sri Chaitanya Math branch were headed by Srila Bhakti Vilasa Tirtha Maharaj, Gaudiya Mission were headed by Ananta Vasudev Prabhu, who became known as Srila Bhakti Prasad Puri Maharaj after accepting sannyasa for short duration. Many of the disciples of Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati did not agree with the spirit of these newly created two fractions, or were simply inspired to expand the mission of their guru on their own enthusiasm, started their own missions. His disciple Srila Prabhupada went to the West in order to spread Gaudiya Vaishnavism. The society he established, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness ISKIN, still functions today and continues its preaching mission. <laughs> Gaudiya and other Vaishnava schools Although sharing a common set of core beliefs, there are a number of philosophical differences which distinguish Gaudiya Vaishnavism from other Vaishnava schools. In Gaudiya Vaishnavism, Krishna is seen as the original form of God, i.e. the source of Vishnu and not as his avatar. This is based primarily on verse 1.3.28 of the Bhagavata Purana and other scriptures. This belief is shared by the Nimbarka and Vallabha Sampradayas, but not by the Ramanuja and Madhva schools, who view Krishna as an avatar of Vishnu. As Krishna's consort, Radha is similarly viewed as the source of all other Shaktis, including Lakshmi and Sita. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is worshipped as the most recent avatar of Krishna to descend in the current Yuga, or age. Other Sampradayas view Chaitanya as a devotee of Krishna only, and not Krishna himself or a form of avatar. According to his biographies, Chaitanya did not display himself as Krishna in public, and would in fact avoid being addressed as such. In this regard A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami states, When addressed as Lord Krishna, he denied it. Indeed, he sometimes placed his hands over his ears, protesting that one should not be addressed as the Supreme Lord. However at times Chaitanya would exhibit a different mood and would welcome worship of himself as the Supreme Lord, and at a few occasions, is said to have exhibited his universal form. Rupa Goswami, when first meeting with Chaitanya, composed the following verse showing his belief in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's divinity. O most munificent incarnation! You are Krishna himself appearing as Sri Krishna Caitanya Mahaprabhu. You have assumed the golden color of Sramati Radharani, and you are widely distributing pure love of Krishna. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you." 
Although this viewpoint outside of the Gaudiya tradition was disputed, Chaitanya's followers prove it by pointing at verses throughout the Puranic literatures as evidence to support this claim. Theological sources Gaudiya Vaishnava theology is prominently expounded by Jiva Goswami in his Sat Sandarbhas, six elaborate treatises on various aspects of God. Other prominent Gaudiya Vaishnava theologians are his uncles, Rupa Gosvami author of Sri Bhakti Rasamtha Sindhu and Sanatana Gosvami, author of Hari Bhakti Vilasa, Visvanatha Chakravarti author of Sri Kamatkara Kandrika and Baladeva Vidyabhushana, author of Govinda Bhashya, a famous commentary on Vedanta Sutra. <laughs> Modern Gaudiya Vaishnava societies Gaudiya Mission established by Ananta Vasudev Prabhu 1937. Sri Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti established by Bhakti Prajnana Kesava Goswami 1940. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Math established by Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Gokausmi Sri Chaitanya Gaudiya Math established by Srila Bhakti Deita Madhav Goswami International Society for Krishna Consciousness established by A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada 1966. Sri Gopinatha Gaudiya Math established by Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami 1989. International Pure Bhakti Yoga Society established by Bhaktivedanta Narayana Goswami 2004. Topic. See also Gaudiya Math Turiya 108 Names of Krishna Bhagavata Achintya Beta Abeda Vaishnavism of Manipur Cataphatic Theology Topic. Footnotes Topic. Bibliography Brew, Mons 2003. As Good as God, The Guru in Gaudiya Vaisnavism. Abo Akademi University Press. ISBN 951-765-132-5. Bryant, Edwin, Extrand, Maria, eds. 2004. The Hare Krishna Movement, The Pocharismatic Fate of a Religious Transplant. NY, Columbia University Press. ISBN 0-231-12256-X. De, Sushil K. Early History of the Vaisnava Faith and Movement in Bengal from Sanskrit and Bengali Sources. Calcutta, General Printers and Publishers. Kapoor, O. B. L. The Philosophy and Religion of Sri Caitanya, The Philosophical Background of the Hare Krishna Movement. New Delhi, Munshiram Manoharlal. Rosen, Stephen J. 1992. Vaishnavism, Contemporary Scholars Discuss the Gaudiya Tradition. N.Y., Folk Books. ISBN 0-9619763-6-5. Sen, Dinesh Chandra Chaitanya and His Age PDF, Calcutta, University of Calcutta Press Topic. External links An overview of Gaudiya Vaishnavism Gaudiya.com World Vaishnava Association an umbrella organization of the Vaishnava faith The International Society for Krishna Consciousness Iskin Com Shri Ketanya Sangha Mission of Swami Tripurari